Hi, Bo here from Hitech Investment and today we're going to talk a bit more about yield notes. Last week in my video I uh, went through a couple of steps on uh, yield notes and showed the profit of what yield notes was capable of doing for the last 18 months. I also showed you the profit that I have made since December 2020, so a bit over four months of profit. And this has sparked uh, quite a lot of interest, not only through the YouTube channel, but also through our Facebook, our new Facebook setup. And uh, so luckily this week, uh, Yilnos has also issued a new uh, tutorial in writing where you can go in and step by step read through the setup process of registering yourself with Yield Notes, doing your KYC and then also fund the accounts in various different ways with either credit card, Bitcoin or, or even vouchers. So before we get started and I'll show you this uh, new page, uh, as usual the page um, link will also be as below so you can go in and take all the time you need afterwards to uh, familiarize yourself with the setup. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to us so you're never going to miss a thing and uh, hopefully we'll see you on Facebook soon too. So this is the uh, new Yield Notes uh, medium page you have here. So and with the Yield Notes master list of tutorial. Below here we got the setup of the account, so this is the one we're going to go into in a second. Fund your account, there's three different tutorials to cover this. And then there's also a range of links for the websites, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, so on and so on. And a few more details as to how to fund the account. So um, let's start with the setup for the account and we take it from there. Yeah? So we arrived at the Yield Notes editorial page. So, and this is basically, as it says here, Yield Notes step by step guide to set up the account. And if you quickly go through here, it'll just give you a basic background on Bitcoin and the step by step guide. So, at first, obviously, uh, go to Yield Notes homepage. On the link you see there or you can use the uh, the link below in the video so it will take you there so um, once you are there uh, they'll just tell you to have a look around and you will also see again similar to what I uh, was already discussing with um, with you on on last week's review that each team member is uh, has their own link in account so you can go and, and see uh, the people behind it and the background they have yeah for what they're doing today so once you're done with that it's basically time for for the sign up and uh, you click for the sign off part on the uh, home page and you get to this page here so you put in your personal details and you also need to set yourself up with uh, a strong password and yeah either create your own or you can go there's plenty of apps out there also that can provide a strong password and that generates that for you uh, if if you prefer this so once you come in here uh, it is time as they say here to read the terms and conditions and uh, Basically, you end up on the dashboard here, uh, which is similar to what you saw in my previous video. So in this case here, obviously, there's uh, no money, no investments yet. And you will have the previous month's profits. Uh, in this case here, it shows January. So um, if you logged in uh, today, you will obviously see March. And in March, we had 10.6%. Uh, so um, after this, you will have to go and just familiarize yourself with the page but you need to fill in the final part of the personal information so part of will already be here so and you need to fill in the details for the kyc and the money laundering uh, part so which is obviously a, a standard thing these days yeah so um, you also need to verify your email address, so put your email address in there. 
and it will be sent to the email it should normally arrive within a, a minute's time so you basically click on the verify email address and very simple form you will come back and you'll get the verified email address uh, part from from yield notes you'll be looking at this page as it says here and then from there on uh, you finalize the complete the account information so you make sure that everything is correct and obviously you hit the save button at the end of the day um, also there's a setting up for the two-factor authentication uh, or you can uh, do it by sms uh, we normally suggest that the uh, the google Authenticator is, is the best way forward. So as it will also say here, it is it works even though there's no signal, uh, where you would have an, an issue with that on uh, on an SMS. So the Google Authenticator changes the code every 30 seconds for you. It's very easy once it's installed. It'll just be there in the background, and uh, a lot of different uh, home pages are using this as a means of. Um, second layer of security so so the two-factor authentication is is definitely a must for you when you have these things otherwise you can verify your phone number here also as per sms and once that's done then your security part of this will be complete so as you can see it's a very easy step-by-step -step guide on uh, what needs to be done and the last section you need to come to is complete the KYC know your customer verification and as usual uh, you will have to provide uh, a couple of uh, documents so and there's also a signed risk disclosure agreement that uh, needs to be done together with the photo ID and proof of address so proof of address is normally either your uh, national ID card could be your passport and when you also have a proof of address you can normally have different means of of uh, of that that could be either your internet bill your tv bill uh, electrical or gas bill they will normally all be accepted um, as part of yield notes um, apart from that uh, there's the quick walk walkthrough uh, will tell you that you need a high definition uh, high definition image for your photo IDs and, and for your, in this case here, it'll be your gas bill. And once all these items are, are uploaded, you will be left with the documents are awaiting confirmation. And that document confirmation will normally take uh, a couple of business days. In this case here, they say one to three. Uh, it normally goes faster. Um, once that is complete, it will automatically change and you now have the status with the documents are verified and you're now ready so to uh, use the yield note homepage and you can start investing so let's have a look and see what options you have uh, in order to fund your account so we're now back on the main page again and uh, let's go to fund the account with the uh, bitcoin so this part here you'll fund the account with Bitcoin and for the people that already have Bitcoin accounts or have a trading account or have a broker's account where you can buy your Bitcoins and uh, transfer your fiat money into Bitcoin and vice versa. Um, I mean, from, from there on, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you don't have that, I suggest you go and have a look at the video. Uh, where there's a transfer from uh, Binance into uh, Hyperfund, but basically uh, Binance can be used and I'll create a, a, a link below so you, you have that too. It's a very simple and easy process uh, working with Binance, so I definitely recommend that for, for new users that are not so familiar with it. Uh, the layout is very easy, very easy to understand and uh, got a good oversight of, of everything. And the costs are also uh, fairly low, so definitely, uh, if if you haven't tried it before, I do recommend uh, Binance as as a good option to to start with. So, 
basically here um, we go into the uh, the area now where we need to fund it so uh, that will be uh, the, the first step so and in this case here you click the deposit button which will take you to the next step as we see here so in this case here it will create an address if we uh, go down to this this is basically what we're looking at down here so you enter the amount that you want to uh, transfer it will tell you in bitcoin um, this is the way it works it doesn't mean that uh, you, you lose any money at the end of the day, as you'll see, uh, once you start moving, it's, it's a reference to Bitcoin, uh, but everything is taking off in uh, euros. So for this one here, your specific Bitcoin address, which is obviously quite important that you get this right. So you normally click on this button that will copy the full address over to your uh, account where you're gonna transfer your Bitcoin from. So just make sure and double check that uh, this is actually correct. And after this, uh, it will be very simple. Uh, it will come in. And I know from using uh, Binance or similar ones, uh, you, you'll see the uh, account being, being done um, within a couple of minutes, a couple of times. But obviously in this case here, uh, yield notes it's a manual process so so don't expect them to uh, reply within uh, five minutes they will normally do that within uh, 24 hours and they will then accept the uh, registration of the money the uh, the money has received uh, been received in the yield notes uh, account and then from there on, it will take seven days uh, because basically there's a range of uh, servers and everything else that needs to be set up. And after those seven days, um, you will then start having a, a return on your investment. And there will be a, a little note saying here, similar to what you have here, that you have pending funds. And it will also normally give you a date for when those funds will be released. And from there on, yeah, you will... Uh, start making returns on your investment. So very, very simple and easy system. So um, so definitely uh, going through Bitcoin is, is most probably the easiest one if you have something set up already. But otherwise, let's go back and see what other options uh, there is for now. So what other options do we have? Well, we did just do the Bitcoin one. Um, the other one is the fiat payment process. And in this, uh, in this case here, they, uh, they do suggest uh, the Voltees. So um, it's not one I have used, but uh, I'm very much familiar with it. Uh, I've used the uh, Banix a couple of times, and um, I can definitely also recommend that one. So you don't necessarily have to go with, with this company. If you have uh, another company that you have exchanged your... Uh, your cryptocurrencies with before they might be able to help you so it's it's worth asking them before you start setting up uh, even more accounts but anyway let's have a quick look through it and let's just see what uh, what it looks like um, what we'll have to do here is again you go into the deposit section this time around um, basically uh, there's several options and the most popular one is now the Maltese that they uh, go with um, as per below here, again, you get your uh, your platform, your transfer, your deposits, um, and the minimum deposit in this case here is 50. Obviously the minimum for um, yield notes is 500 for the first time you do it. So, but otherwise you'll be transferred to the platform and you'll be looking at this page and what you have to do here is very similar to what you've done with yield notes where we went before your kyc needs to be done so you open a personal account you put in all the account details and everything else so obviously if you already have all the documents ready you can set this up at the same time you register yourself you open the account and then basically you can transfer the uh, the money through here um, another verification 
and as you go along here you'll see that your the Maltese account is fully verified and now you need just to again submit your driver license passport ID card uh, photo ID and also something showing your name or address so once you have all these things in place and it has been checked and verified then you need to go and uh, buy the crypto so again this is the setup page so if you follow this step by step it shouldn't be too difficult uh, at the end of the day uh, the amounts and here also the wallet address you will set it up and in this case here everything is filled in so buying up the crypto the banks you're using and the transfer reference that you have here as per below you go back into the Maltese dashboard and basically you wait until the transfer has been done and it will show up as again pending you will have up here so and it will take you as we said it doesn't matter which way you you put your money into the yield notes account uh, they will be locked in for um, seven days and after that uh, you will start getting return on your investment so uh, th there's no uh, quick way of doing this uh, this is service that has to be rented it has to be set up so um, and that is standard for for no matter which way you you pay so i hope you found this interesting it's definitely a good improvement from yield notes that we now also can see that there's some written materials so it normally helps some people better uh, reading than, uh, than looking at the videos and a very comprehensive step-by-step -step guide that will hopefully help you all the way through and make sure that you get your first investments in place so for now thanks for this time around make sure you uh, Give us a big like and uh, keep an eye on the channel for future updates. Yeah.